I'm not proud of my past. I look back on my teenage slash early 20 self with no small amount of cringe, so writing this is difficult. I realized around 12 or 13 that I was transgender. Unfortunately, I was from a very conservative family that I knew would never accept me, so I kept it hidden. My greatest regret as it may have prevented what followed. Puberty hit me pretty hard in the sense that I ended up with a pretty deep voice, a very wide frame, and I was pretty hairy, the neck included. I was very socially awkward because I was very overweight and got made fun of and bullied for not being masculine like the other guys. This led to some coping mechanisms. I did not have many friends and kept to myself mostly. I ended up getting into video games and anime to try to escape my personal turmoil. I'd always play as female characters to get a taste of the life I was supposed to have but was denied. I also got into Magic the Gathering, my main connection to the few friends I did have. Around that time, though, hormones hit, and they hit hard. I'm not going to blame everything I did on them, but to be fair, an overabundance of testosterone with no outlet is a dangerous thing. I developed strong interest in girls, but being the neckbeard archetype with somewhat poor hygiene, I was not exactly an ideal partner. I did not blame them at all now, but back then I recall several instances of pathetic attempts to hit on my sister's friends usually resulting in either being laughed at or just completely ignored. Very few girls at school would even give me the time of day, and those that would, even dating few, I'd ruin it by getting too handsy and not respecting their boundaries. I did this several times. In retrospect, curiosity and jealousy had a lot to do with it. In the end, though, I was an asshole, and would have been well-deserved of any punishment they had felt appropriate. But it never came. My wardrobe gradually shifted to all anime t-shirts and cargo shorts. I bought a few katanas and decorated my room in anime figurines and wall scrolls. I also parted my hair down the middle in the fashion of trunks from DBZ. Eventually, though, I did meet one girl who had such similar interests that we had hit it off really well. I lost my virginity to her at 19. I thought I was on top of the world, only vaguely registering that my constant pestering of her for sex was ruining any feeling she had for me. Around that time, at my father's insistence, I ended up joining the Navy, shaved off the neckbeard, and lost a lot of weight. But, like they say, it's not the neckbeard on the outside, but the inside that counts. I found out right after boot camp that my girlfriend was pregnant. We got married, but by then she was tired of me. We got divorced almost immediately after our daughter was born. From then on, the Navy would pretty much consume my life. I'd still hit on girls online, acting like a nice guy calling them a lady, etc. All just to get shut down. Occasionally find one willing to date, and I'd ruin it by being a sex-obsessed ass. Then I would treat back into video games and anime and cry myself to sleep over what a terrible person I had become. Around that time, I met a guy I call Z on my ship. He was pretty much just like me, obsessed with anime and games, and that with women, etc. We became good friends and roommates in an apartment downtown. After six years, he got out of the Navy and went home, and after five months later, I did too. After the Navy, the neckbeard and my waistline both drew back. My dysphoria continued to get worse too. Eventually, I met a girl through a mutual friend, and we ended up dating. I told her on our first date that I was trans. She apparently thought I was exaggerating, as I later found out. We ended up getting married, and I asked Z to be one of my groomsmen. By this point, my insatiable libido had died down, and I was able to interact with women normally, for the most part, but my dysphoria had reached a point where most often than not, I was filled with jealousy for them. After a few years of being married, I told my wife I decided I could not live this any longer and I was going to transition. After about a year of her telling me she had no idea that I'd ruined her life, she divorced me and left. Now. All alone, I started my transition. I grew out my hair, started taking hormones, improved my hygiene and physical appearance, and I lost a respectable amount of weight. Finally tipping myself a testosterone absolutely changed the worst parts of me. I'm still a bit of a shut-in, but I'm able to finally deal with people normally. Here's the real kicker. After seven months on hormones, I hit what's called a second puberty. My body started changing a lot, but also my mind. I became much less aggressive, much less interested in sex, and I actually developed an attraction to men, which was really weird at first, but now it's nice. 
My best friend Z actually came back into my life and became boyfriend and girlfriend. He even proposed to me last month and I said yes. I am so much happier now after transitioning. I look back on the decades I wasted as the sex-obsessed neckbeard I once was with the deepest regret and disgust. I should have been true to myself from the beginning, and if there is anyone else out there in a similar situation, I hope you can find it within yourself to do the same.